Hello and welcome to this run of the combined 22 delivery quests for the In-League and Ale Association. To execute this run, you need the following travel skills. Travel to Personal House, a milestone set to Doolin, return to Bree, return to Oskaruth, return to Thorns Gate, and return to Tornhad. Each of these skills can be earned in-game and do not require any Lotro store purchases. You will also need to have already become an in-league member and an ale association member and pick up the in-league drinks ahead of time. For more details and a full breakdown of this run, check out the accompanying blog post linked in the description. To begin, mount up and go to the Bree Land Festival grounds. You can do this using the free horse next to the West Bree Stable Master. Start the run by picking up all 11 Ale Association quests from the Ale Association Tavern Keep. You can see that each one must be completed within one hour of picking it up. Since this run only takes 35 minutes, we have more than enough time for them all. Greetings, traveler. Will you stay a moment? Welcome. You've come at a most fortuitous time. Greetings, traveler. Will you stay a moment? Now you can use the free Bree Town horse to return to the West Bree Gate. Will you stay a moment? I would be grateful for your assistance. Welcome. In Bree, ride to the Prancing Pony. Time. Come and stay a moment, friend. Inside the Prancing Pony, talk to Barlam and Butterbur to collect fake Lemail's Vintage for the quest Never Further From Home, and fake Forsaken Ale oh, for the so quest much. One Drink Too Few. Then, leave the Prancing Pony and use the free Breland Festival Grounds horse. Mount up and ride southwest to Thornley's worksite. At Thornley's worksite, talk to Wesley Hopwood. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, Never Further From Home. Then pick up and drop off the In-League quest, Never Far From Home. Then use your milestone to travel to Dooland. Once you are in Dooland, take the Stable Master to Thrassy's Lodge. It's slow travel, but still faster than riding your own mount unless you have a war steed. If you are traveling in a group, watch out. Alric at Thrasi's Lodge will emote when you complete each quest. Alric does an approximately 8 second emote for the first quest completion and an approximately 10 second emote for the second quest completion. 
While Alric is emoting, you cannot open a new quest pickup or turn in dialog. However, if you already have a quest dialog open when Alric starts emoting, you can still advance that dialog. At Thrassi's Lodge, talk to Alric. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, One Drink Too Few. Then, pick up and drop off the In League quest, One Drink Too Many. Then use your return to Ostgaruth travel skill. At Oskaruth, take the Stable Master to Candate's Encampment, and then take Candate's Travel to the Forsaken Inn. Both of these travels are swift, despite not being marked that way, and they both are free. Note that to have travel from Oskaruth to Candate's Encampment, you must have completed or be working on Fires in the North, which is Epic Volume 1, Book 3 forward, and to have travel from Candace Encampment to the Forsaken Inn, you must have completed or be working on Epic sense? Volume 1, Book 2, Chapter 6, Protected by the Eaglane. If you do not have both of these, you can take the slow stable master route from Ostgaruth to the Forsaken Inn and skip Candace Encampment. This adds about 2 minutes 45 seconds of travel time. If you only have travel to Candace Encampment, go ahead and take it and ride overland to the Forsaken Inn from there as this will only add about 1 minute 20 seconds of travel time. At the Forsaken Inn, talk to Anlaf the Forlorn to collect fake stars of old cider for the quest All But the Good Cider. Oh, woe be me. Now, use your return to Personal House Travel Skill. Then use the far-ranging Stable Master to travel to Mickle Delving. How can I be of service? In Mickle Delving, dismount the Stable Master mount as soon as you arrive. Mount up and ride to the Bird and Baby Inn. In the Bird and Baby Inn, talk to Carlo Blagrove to collect fake brandy wine for the quest A Convoluted Wine. Then leave the Bird and Baby Inn and mount up. From here, we are headed to the Ivy Bush Inn in Hobbiton. The fastest way to get from Mickle Delving to Hobbiton is using a far ranging stable master in personal housing. You would travel to the party tree, then ride down to Hobbiton, taking around 1 minute 15 seconds. However, we just used our travel to personal house travel skill to get here. Riding cross country, as we are doing here, takes around 1 minute 30 seconds. Why not use the Mickle Delving Stable Master? Riding to the Mickle Delving Stable Master and then to Hobbiton takes 2 minutes 10 seconds, slower than our other options. If you have the travel to kinship house skill, you could use it here to save some time. In Hobbiton, go to the Ivy Bush Inn. In the Ivy Bush Inn, talk to Harroward Lonesdown to collect fake Blagorov's Brown for the quest A Bit of White. Then leave the Ivy Bush Inn and mount up. 
It will make navigating to Brocken borings after the floating log easier if we remove either a convoluted wind or a bit of white from the Quest Tracker now. From here, ride to the Green Dragon in Bywater. If you have a Hobbit or Dwarf character on Laurelin, don't miss Green Dragon Fridays at 7.30 p.m. UK time. Usually that is 2.30 p.m. server time, but not everyone changes for daylight saving time at the same time, so watch out for those edge cases. Those clock changing rascals. In the Green Dragon, talk to Barmy Rootnot to collect fake Bomber's Beard Lager for the quest Bomber's Breath and fake Beak Breaker Ale for the quest Not Atley's Favorite. Then leave the Green Dragon and mount up. From here, ride to the Floating Log Inn in Frogmorton. If you are comfortable going off the road, you can ride around the north side of the hill and save about seven seconds of travel time. In the Floating Log Inn, talk to Ponto Hopsbloom to collect fake more boar beer for the quest A Dark Prank. Then leave the floating log and mount up. From here, ride north to Brocken Borings. You can use the quest guide to Foxglove Grub to guide you over land until you get to the Plow and Stars. In the Plow and Stars, talk to Halson Tubwort to collect fake swill for the quest A Drink of the Best Character. Then leave the Plow and Stars and mount up. Ride down the hill and talk to Foxglove Grub. First, drop off the Ale Association quest All But the Good Cider. Then, pick up and drop off the In League quest All But the Cider. Then, take the Stable Master to Oatbarton. Mount up and ride north to talk to Hiragar Mudbottom. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, A Bit of White. Then, pick up and drop off the In League quest, A Bit of Brown. Please stay a moment. What do you need? Ride back to the Stable Master and take the Stable Master to Ostferode. A lovely day, isn't it? Take the Stable Master to Surrey Kyla. How can I be of service?
take the stable master to Zigglegund. Once you are in Zigglegun, talk to Lofi. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, A Dark Prank. Then, pick up and drop off the In League quest, A Dark Day. Take the Stable Master to Suri Kaila. I am beset by misery. What do you want? Take the stable master to Gath Forthnir. Take the Staple Master to Aguhar. I'll be of service. Once you're in Aquar, ride over and talk to Nathalyn. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, A Drink of the Best Character. Then, pick up and drop off the In League quest, A Drink of the Worst Character. This is the second NPC that emotes during quest turn-ins. Just like Alric at Thrassi's Lodge, the first emote lasts for about 8 seconds Stay and the moment. second for around 10 seconds. How can I be of service? After completing the in-league delivery, ride back to the Stable Master. Take the Stable Master to Gathforth Near. Take the Stable Master to Rivendell.
Take the Stable Master to Gloin's camp. Take the Stable Master to Hrimbarg. Once you're in Hrimbarg, run up the stairs and to the left and talk to Oli. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, not Atli's favorite. Then pick up and drop off the In League quest, Atli's favorite. If you land on the stone platform as you jump down, you do not take any falling damage. Then take the Stable Master to Rivendell. Take the Stable Master to Ekad Candleth. How can I be of service? When you arrive in Ikhad Candleth, mount up and ride over to Serthuithel. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, A Convoluted Wine. Greetings. Then, pick up and drop off the In League quest, A Simple Wine. Then ride back to the Stable Master. Take the Stable Master to the last homely house. Ride from the Stable Master to the last homely house. Go inside and turn left to go into the Hall of Fire. In the Hall of Fire, talk to Sogadon to collect fake Dorwinian white for the quest A Different Reminder of Rivendell. Then return to the last homely house stable master. Take the Stable Master to Rivendell. Take the Stable Master to Estelden. What do you need?
Take the Stable Master to Othrakar. What do you need? Since the ride from Esteldin to Othrakar takes 1 minute 20 seconds, this will be a great use of another milestone skill. Unfortunately, Trestle Bridge and Esteldin are the only settlements in the North Downs large enough to get their own milestones. When you arrive in Othrakar, mount up and ride over and talk to Muli. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, Bomber's Breath. Then, pick up and drop off the in-league quest, A Member in Need. Now, use your Return to Thorns Hall travel skill. Head in to the Thorns Hall Inn by using the Festival Arena door. Then use the Center Thorns Hall Inn door. Talk to the barkeep Runolf to collect fake thistle belly brew for the quest Quite a Tickle. Well met. Then head back outside by first using the Festival Arena door. Then use one of the side Frerin's Court doors. Mount up and ride to the refuge of Adhelion. Going left after the second set of stairs lets you ride cross country without risking falling damage from the short cliffs. Cross the rubble to the left here so you don't have to ride around the building. At the top of the stairs, talk to Lendasil. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, a different reminder of Rivendell. Then, pick up and drop off the Inlaid quest, a reminder of Rivendell. Finally, use your Return to Tornhad travel skill. Take the Stable Master to the last bridge.
Now, mount up and ride overland to Oast Hare in the south of Harlog. Start by heading mostly west until you get around the large rocky cliffs. You can get down into the swamp here without taking falling damage. At this point, you can follow your quest tracker to Wald Mugwort. In Oast Hare, talk to Wald Mugwort. First, drop off the Ale Association quest, Quite a Tickle. Then pick up and drop off the In League quest, Quite a Pickle. And with that, we're done. At this point, you still have your Return to Bree skill available. You can use it to get back to where we started. Congratulations, you have just completed the combined 22 delivery quests for the In League and Ale Association. This run takes around 35 minutes and results in a net increase of 4,400 reputation with both the In-League and Ale Association, 11 In-League Badges of Taste, and 11 Ale Association Badges of Dishonor. Note that if you use the Fateful Toolkit from the Fate of Gundabad Ultimate Fan Bundle, you get an extra badge from each delivery. If you have any questions, please comment below, and good luck in your adventures in Lord of the Rings Online.